hint on using the um, pack external data in, in Blender here. I have this scene and the playback is going to be horrendous here because well the scene's just blocked out anyway and uh, the playback software is, is causing some jerkiness. Anyway, um, so this scene here of this character Tyrael from uh, Diablo 2 uh, video game, I was just doing a test uh, scene with him fighting a demon just for fun and as you can see here, uh, he's got different, um, these are the materials attached to him. And the materials have different uh, 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 textures and whatnot. And so when I copy this scene from my work, my main computer to my laptop, for example, so I can work on it somewhere else, uh, I don't want it to have to find all these images that are part of the scene. Also the background and the creature here, uh, they all have their own images. It would be nice if when I want to move this to another computer uh, to render, for example, uh, if I could just have Blender put all the images in the right place for me. That way, when I move it somewhere else, you know, it's it's not uh, it's not looking for images, and I don't have to track them down. So, fortunately, if you go to File, External Data, Pack into Blend File, then that is going to go ahead and um, it's going to uh, take every image that's part of these textures here and it's going to put them inside of the blend file. So if I go here under my uh, finder, you can see here that it creates a file that's actually quite large in size, 224 megabytes. It's pretty large for a Blender file. You can see some of the other Blender files here are only a couple of megabytes. Okay, so uh, once you've packed it, um, you, you should go ahead and save it and then um, probably save it you know, with a different name or something. And then when you um, get to your destination, if you're going to be working on the scene for a while, you'll notice that the performance of Blender will be quite low, uh, especially for your playback. That's part of the reason why the playback here is so jerky. Uh, so if you've um, got the scene in the place where you uh, on the computer that you want, uh, I suggest you go in to File, External Data, and Unpack into Files. Okay, then it'll come up with uh, several different options. I uh, use files in the current directory. I believe that will put the files in in the texture files in the same directory as your uh, uh, your Blender file. And uh, there's different options here. The one I'm going to use is use the files in the original location, create when necessary. So that means that if I have the files already on my system, then it's just going to use those files if it finds them in certain directories. Create where necessary means if the file doesn't exist, it's going to create it there. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, so the way you use these would would be um, you know in reference to whatever your 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 needs are at the time. Uh, write files to the current directory. You know that's uh, use files in the current directory. You know these these all depend on what you're doing. So for example, um, overwrite existing files. Maybe the texture files in this uh, version are. Uh, are much newer than the version that's already on your computer, then you might want to overwrite the files. But I haven't made any changes to the texture, so I'm just going to go ahead and say use files in original location, create where necessary. Okay, hopefully it won't take too long. Again, the screen capture software is really uh, taking up quite a lot of processor time. So there it is, so let me go ahead and I'm just going to save this. Okay. Now when we go to Finder, let's take a look at that shot. And you can see now the size has gone from six, uh, 224 megs to 6.4 megs. So obviously it's much better. And um, even though the screen capture software is, is causing the display to be very chunky, once I'm, I turn that off, the uh, playback is going to be much, much faster. So uh, it's a very useful feature if you're working with multiple computers or giving your Blender files to somebody else to render or mess with. Uh, it's something to be aware of. I hope it helps you out.